All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more content on Naruto Shinobi Live 2 here on the channel. Guys, I know it's been a couple of days since we've last uploaded on the channel, and I'm sorry. There are a couple of reasons as to why we haven't been uploading both on the channel and on this game and all that other stuff, but I'm not going to really talk too much about it in this video because I have a video planned for all that stuff. It's going to be some pretty high pack action action. <laughs> Yeah, just, you know, stay tuned for the video that's coming soon. So as you guys can see at the top right over here, they have updated the game since I've last played. They've added a bunch of new stuff. I'm not going to be able to get to it until I get through all the other content that we have to do first. But hey, we're here now. So let's go ahead and dive into this video. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got to up price for y'all. Snake eyes on thanks for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Bro, guys, my name is Hashirama Senju. And I am hard as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. I just had to do it, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're finally in game and dude like literally every showcase video that we do for these genkais i'm literally on the training grounds because i just think the training grounds is so beautiful and i think they updated the training grounds to the point where you leave a little bit of a water trail now when you walk on water i don't know i could be bugging out it's been quite some time since i last played so maybe this feature was already here but yo this thing oh my god guys i have some like new settings for recording some new software some new hardware guys it, it's gonna be insane i have a lot of things coming to the channel that are new and again i'm not gonna spoil it but I'm giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek with this video. But anyway, obviously, guys, I tried to roleplay here as Hashirama Senju himself. I have a Tobidama sword on the back because I don't think they have, like... Well, let me look real quick. I was going to say, I don't think they have Hashirama sword, but they actually do. I think it's this, the kunai blade. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks like it. Basically, his sword is supposed to look like this in this statue over here. And again, I, I, I think this is it on our back. I mean, I could be wrong, but hey. Ah, well, actually, guys, it is. <laughs> so... The Hashirama blade spawns in the rock village and I don't have it. So that's a little bit unfortunate. However, like I said, I'm going to use the Senju Raijin. It's Tobidama sword. So whatever. It's close enough. Now, obviously, as you guys can see in this video, we're going to showcase Senju wood in Shinobi Live 2. Now, this thing is, oh my God, a pain to level up. It's very much so like Itachi's Mangekyo Sharingan. It's up to level 1,000. It took forever to get this thing to level 1,000. But we're going to dive right into this. The first ninjutsu is wood style roots of earth. The second one is wood style worldly flower. The last one is wood style D4s, which is also called D4s Emergence in a lot of other games and stuff like that. So that's pretty nice. And we're going to unlock the mode and equip it. So at the time of this recording, it's 5 o'clock in the morning, guys. Like I'm literally up super early in the morning or pretty much late because I've been up since yesterday. Day. and i decided to record because i'm like yo if i don't do it now you guys are going to see a video for like another couple of days because i have like again big things planned <laughs> so i don't even know if i'll be able to upload for you guys another video after this one for a couple of days but we'll see how it goes i'll try my best guys but i mentioned all that because like there's not a lot of people here and uh, usually you know i just like fighting some noobs or stuff but i don't think that'll be possible in this video anyhow the first move is our v key move which is the roots of earth or something like that so we're gonna go what in the hell is this? <laughs> Dude, that thing is OP, bro. Like, there's no sound effects at all when there's an impact, but it literally attacked three different targets multiple times, twice, actually. So that's a, a total of six attacks. Now, I believe this guy over here messed up on his auto-clicking. <laughs> Brother, my man, that's the wrong tree, bro. That's the wrong log. <laughs> I don't think my boy got the memo, guys. I really don't. So... I'm going to try to hit him to see if I attack him six times with the move itself. So we're going to use the move and we're also going to focus on him. And let's go ahead and take a look. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this time around, I saw seven there. I could have miscounted, but pretty nice how if there's like three enemies, it evenly spreads the attacks between the three enemies. So that's actually really, really, really cool in my opinion. Now, our next ability is our B move, which is the Worldling Flower move. And we're going to go ahead and test that out. See how this one goes. What? Oh my God. Did I just, did I just give birth to trees? Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, I just birthed hella trees, boy. Yeah, the power of my seeds. I, I'm sorry, guys. I need, the joke came out wrong, man. <laughs> Yo, dude, this is so sick. Can you combo these two moves together? Like, if we use that move and then we follow her up, 
<gasps> Look, it's a little flower. Oh, it's different this time. Whoa, you see that, guys? It literally gave like a budding flower because we used it with another wood style move. Now, granted, that could have been there already. I'm going to try to use it not on training logs because training logs act like normal people, right? So let's see if we use this move out in the open. What will happen? Oh, I need more chocolate. Hold on, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and use the move here. No, yeah, look. Whoa, okay. This is uh, pretty interesting. It's a pretty different effect there. Now, our last move is our Enki move, which is the forest emergence. Now, maybe I misclicked and this is the move that I use because... Oh, yeah, you know what it is, guys? I think I misclicked and I mistakenly used the forest emergence. But, dude, this is so awesome. Look, you can literally use these trees to jump around even when you spawn them that's so cool so yeah I, I, I was basically being a noob i literally had used the deep forest emergence by mistake and i didn't notice it now we're gonna use this jutsu again because this thing just looks so pretty look at this thing it looks so pretty man that's so freaking cool dude and obviously this jutsu as well is very 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 cool with the attacks that it does like i mean just look at the range it has and oh my god <laughs> yo that is so awesome now this is something different that i didn't notice in the background but i think they added like a day and night cycle to the training grounds as far as i'm aware when i played on the training grounds it was always daytime and like the river never looked like this so i think they also updated this but perfect scenario because you know we're about to awaken right now guys so uh, 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 just send your dna <laughs> <laughs> I'm now a sage. So I really don't know how to feel about these statistical bonuses. If you guys look at the right hand corner, we get a minimum of 2000 HP bonus, 2200 for Tai, 2400 for Jinjutsu, and 2200 for Chakra. Now those are really not that great of a bonus compared to other modes, but I mean, you guys be the judge of that and let me know in the comment section below. However, I am going to block, I'm going to turn off my HUD here, I'm going to move my camera around, hold on, and we are going to go ahead and use, okay, we did the sync keeps busting up, but we're going to go ahead and use RC. <gasps> no way! Groot, I am Groot. <laughs> and I just fell over, dude. Yo, that is so awesome. What does that even do? Now, actually, guys, before we even... Oh, my God. I keep pressing... Oh, my Lord. Why do I keep pressing this ability, bro? What I meant to say is we're going to go into our ninja tools and we're going to unequip our Senju Raijin. The reason for that is because, like I always tell you guys, some modes have an ability on our Q key. So we're going to use... Oh, and this is not one of those modes, man. Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate we use Genkai's and they don't have like a Q ability in the mode transformation. However, this ability over here is just super, super duper awesome. I don't even know if you can attack. Yeah, every time you run near somebody, look, and at the end, it just does a bunch of damage, a bunch of AOE damage. That is insane. That's actually pretty nuts. So now let's go ahead and see, do we have different... Oh, wait a minute. I think we might have different modes. Okay, so I press my C1, guys. I don't know what that just did, but... We're going to go ahead and attempt to press C2. <gasps> okay, C2. We have our scroll on our back here. Now, let's see. Is our Q ability... Okay, no Q ability change. If you look at our stats, though, our stats went up. Our, our stats are basically at 2,500 plus for HP, 2,200 for Tai, 2,600 for Ninjutsu, and 2,400 for Chakra. So, if we have other modes aside from this one, this is pretty good because this is, this is actually really sick. So, let's see what our mode block changes into. <gasps> oh, my God! This is the Central Venerable 1000 Arm Kanan Jutsu. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is. Yo, no way. Okay, wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Can I go into a C3? Oh, I don't think there's a C3, guys. Yeah, there's no C3. The only thing is that if you go into C1, you lose your scroll. And then if you charge more chakra, you go into C2, you get the scroll on your back, as you guys can see. And obviously, there's that change that you get. Aside from your stats with your... Ooh, this is a perfect guy to test it on. Let's block over here. And let's use it on him. I don't even know. Okay, I'm hitting him. I'm definitely hitting him. Yo, that does so much damage. It's nuts. Come on, kid. Where you going, kid? Brother. Brother, what's up, man? He says, I'm, I'm a fan. Yo, brother, man. You, you should know by now, brother. If you're a fan, even more of a reason for you to die. Nah, just like... <laughs> Yo, that hit him so many times, the trees, dude. That's crazy. This <laughs> Yo, this Genkai is amazing, dude. I really just love the, these abilities here. Look how far you can shoot the freaking... Oh, man, they, they, they didn't reach him. But that was a pretty sick amount of range on that move right there, guys. Now, I'm really interested to know, like, if I go into my lightning mode, 
Can I stack? Oh yeah, I didn't even notice you can stack Genkai's in this mode. Oh well, in this game, as far as like you know, stacking your mode. So I am gonna try to kill. Let's see. Let's see if we can kill this guy in just like one or two hits right here. Let's see. Is it even gonna damage him? What level was this guy? Okay, he's just so he's level 474. I just saw his level. He took one of my hits. Let's see how many hits he'll be able to take before he. <gasps> wow! Just two jutsus and he's dead at level 474. That's actually nice. <laughs> Let's see if this guy can take a couple of our hits. Um, as far as like you know, our central variable 1,000 arm cannon, whatever it's called. Let's see how much damage that did to him. Is he alive? Oh, he's alive. Yeah, he's alive. And he's healing up. <laughs> All right, whatever, dude. Guys, that pretty much is going to sum up the showcase, man. This thing looks amazing. If you guys want to see some more content on this game soon rather than later, you know, I'll try to squeeze out another video tomorrow or something like that. Drop a like and that'll motivate me to do it. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in a couple of days, man, because I got things to do. I got things to take care of. And I know you guys are going to like it. When you guys see the stuff that I got, man, Oh, yeah, you're going to be wood, rock, hard. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I'm out of here. Peace.